In this lecture, we are going to discuss the preliminary version of L'Hopital's rule. To evaluate some limits, we can use the differentiation. L'Hopital's rule is a very efficient method to evaluate limit using the differentiation. This rule deals with limits of this form. Limit extends to x0 f of x divided by g of x. Where limit extends to x0 f of x and limit extends to x0 g of x are both equal to 0 or both equal to infinity. So that the quotient rule cannot be applied here to find the limits. Such limits are called indeterminate forms. That is, when limit extends to x0 f of x is equal to 0 and limit extends to x0 g of x is equal to 0. Both are zeros. So we will have the limit of this uh, will be of this form 0 by 0. So this form is an inde indeterminate form. Also, if this is equal to infinity, limit of f of x is equal to infinity as x tends to x0 and limit of g of x is equal to infinity as x approaches to x0. That is both limits are infinity. Then we will have the limit of this will be of this form infinity by infinity. This is also an indeterminate form. Okay, here this x0 that is this point may be replaced by infinity x0 plus or x0 minus etc. So to find the limits of indeterminate forms we can use the L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule is written as this or this. So first we can discuss the indeterminate form of this form that is 0 by 0 form. For that we can first state the the preliminary version of L'Hopital's rule. Let f and g be differentiable in an open interval containing x0. Assume that f of x0 is equal to 0 and g of x0 is equal to 0. If g dash of x0 is non-zero, then limit extends to x0 f of x divided by g of x is equal to f dash of x0 divided by g dash of x0. That is if f of x0 equal to g of x0 equal to 0, we have the limit of this is of this form 0 by 0, right? So in that case, we can say that this limit is equal to f dash of x0 divided by g dash of x0. That is, we have to differentiate the numerator and denominator separately with respect to x and then we have to find the values of f dash and g dash at the point x0 provided g dash of x0 is not equal to 0. Now we can try to prove this L'Hopital's rule. That is we have to show that limit extends to x0 f of x divided by g of x is equal to f dash of x0 divided by g dash of x0. We have uh, f of x divided by g of x equal to we have a uh, we are given that f of x0 is equal to 0 and g dash of x0, g of x0 equal to 0. That is f of x0 equal to 0 which is equal to g of x0. So we can subtract this f of x0 and g of x0. f of x minus f of x0 divided by g of x minus g of x0. Because f of x0 and g of x0 are 0. So this is equal to, this can be written as, f of x minus f of x naught divided by x minus x naught. So we are dividing the numerator by x minus x naught. So we have to, to compensate this, we have to uh, divide the denominator also with, with the x minus x naught. So g of x minus g of x naught divided by x minus x naught. So limit x approaches to x naught f of x divided by g of x is equal to limit x approaches to x naught this this by this so we can write this as by uh, quotient rule for limits we can have like this limit x approaches to x naught f of x minus f of x naught divided by x minus x naught divided by limit x tends to x naught g of x minus g of x naught divided by x minus x naught. So by definition of difference, differentiability we have this is nothing but 
f dash of x naught divided by this is g dash of x naught because we are given that f and g are differentiable since f and g are differentiable so for the derivative exists and this will be the derivative of f and this will be the derivative of g at the point x naught so we have limit x tends to x naught f of x divided by g of x is equal to f dash of x naught divided by g dash of x naught now we can discuss an example find limit x tends to 1 x cube minus 1 divided by x minus 1 in the first module we already discussed uh, how to find this limit that is we have a limit x tends to 1 x cube minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is equal to limit x tends to 1 we have x cube minus 1 can be written as x minus 1 factorizing this x cube minus 1 we, can, we have x minus 1 x square plus x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 so this is equal to limit x tends to 1 x minus 1 can be cancelled because here we have x approaches to 1 uh, that is x is not equal to 1 so x minus 1 is not equal to 0 so we can divide this so we have x square plus x plus 1 so this is equal to 1 square plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so this is the method we already discussed in the uh, first module now this same limit also can be calculated by using the L'Hopital's rule that is limit x tends to 1 x cube minus 1 divided by x minus 1 here we have uh, we know the uh, from the L'Hopital's rule we have limit x approaches to x naught f of x divided by g of x is nothing but f dash of x naught divided by g dash of x naught this is the preliminary version of the L'Hopital's rule so here uh, we can replace uh, x naught as 1 f of x as the numerator that is x cube minus 1 and g of x as the denominator that is x minus 1 so this limit is nothing but that is here we have f of 1 here f of x naught is f of 1 which is nothing but 1 cube minus 1 so this is equal to 0 and g of x naught equal to g of 1 this is also 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 so we have f of x naught and g of x naught are equal to 0 both zeros and g dash of x what is g dash of x g of x equal to x minus 1 so g dash of x is equal to 1 therefore g dash of x is not equal to 0 so we can apply the L'Hopital's rule here and the L'Hopital's rule is nothing but f dash of x naught divided by g dash of x naught so where x naught is equal to 1 so this is equal to f dash of 1 divided by g dash of 1 so we already know g dash of 1 is nothing but uh, this is g dash of uh, 1 g dash of 1 is nothing but yeah g dash of x is not equal uh, equal to 1 so g dash of 1 is also uh, not equal to 0 so g dash of 1 is not e uh, equal to 1 and what is f dash of 1 f dash of x is nothing but 3x square f of x equal to x cube plus minus 1 so f dash of x is equal to 3x square so 3 into 1 square that is f dash of 1 because f dash of x is equal to 3x square okay so this is equal to 3 so this limit is equal to 3 so this is the preliminary version of L'Hopital's rule so we can use L'Hopital's rule if uh, the limit is of this form 0 by 0 here we have the limit is of this form because uh, we have a, a f dash of or a f of 1 is 0 and a g of 1 is 0 so 0 by 0 will be the limit so we have this indeterminate form next question find limit x approaches to 0 cos x minus 1 divided by sin x in this type of problems it is better to use the L'Hopital's rule if the limit takes the form 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity here we have uh, we, we can take f of x as cos x minus 1 and g of x as sin x so 
if you choose f of x is equal to cos x minus 1 and g of x is equal to sin x and uh, x naught is equal to 0 then we have f of 1 that is f of x naught is equal to f of 1 that is cos yeah this is 0 f of 0 is cos 0 minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 and g of 0 is equal to sin 0 which is also 0 so uh, this limit will take this from 0 by 0 okay so we can use the L'Hopital's rule here so by L'Hopital's rule we have limit x approaches to 0 cos x minus 1 divided by sin x if you are uh, taken f of x equal to cos x minus 1 and g of x equal to sin x we have by L'Hopital's rule we have this is nothing but f dash of 0 divided by g dash of 0 so we know here we have g dash of 0 is not equal to 0 because g dash of x is equal to cos x because g of x equal to sin x so g dash of x is equal to cos x so g dash of 0 is equal to 1 because cos 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 so we have this is equal to what is f dash of 0 f dash of x is equal to because f of x equal to cos x we have f dash of x is equal to minus sin x minus 0 so and g dash of x is equal to sin x derivative of sin x is cos x therefore f dash of 0 equal to uh, minus sin 0 which is equal to 0 and g dash of 0 equal to cos 0 which is equal to 1 so we have this 0 by 1 this is equal to 0 so the limit is 0 now you can try to do these problems yourself use the preliminary version of L'Hopital's rule to evaluate these limits in 1 to 4